this is Riley. Riley has um, this, this crusty lesion and hair loss from the nose all the way back and it kind of started right at the bridge of the nose. He also has had some crusts on the lower eyelids and now one on the upper eyelid. Um, these types of lesions are autoimmune lesions and this one's commonly um, seen, not commonly seen, but um, is seen and called di uh, discoid lupus erythematosus or DLE and we're, we've treated it with prednisone which, which helped a little as well as antibiotics and now we're going to start him with azathioprine every other day and you can see right he's real reactive <laughs> but this kind of infection could be also bacterial could be fungal we've ruled all that out and, um, and when we used the prednisone and the antibiotics um, it did get better but we're going to we're going to start on um, another drug to see if we clear it up so that's discoid lupus erythematosus well, lesions on the nose like we saw in our dog and also on the picture there are discoid lupus. The nose gets a little pink and it starts to get red and in some cases it will get very raw. Um, and it turns a, a pinkish, an albino color and the sun can really make it worse. So you try to keep your dog out of the sun and um, in cases where it spreads all up the nose and around the eyes, this is a, a more advanced form of lupus and has to be treated with prednisone. Uh, discoid lupus can be treated with niacinamide and combined with doxycycline, a form of tetracycline. It takes about two months to see if that will work and you have to keep your dog out of the sun and here's a suntan lotion for dogs. I didn't know there was one available. Anyway, just thought I'd give you a little update on uh, discoid lupus and uh, there's another form of it called uh, systemic lupus and uh, the causes a lot of ulceration like you saw the last dog with the, the lesions around the eyes. Check out Dog Dish Diet. And, um, there I tell you about ways to feed your dog that's a little better. Uh, you can uh, give your dog lean meat, um, liver, eggs, sardines. Sardines are great for their omegas. Um, also you can feed them fish oil capsules. It's about one pill for every 10 pounds in a dog and big dogs can get up to five pills daily of fish oil. I usually feed my dog a couple of tins of sardines a week. But anyway, check out Dog Dish Diet and have a great day.